Good morning, YouTube friend. Well, if it's kind of look odd to you on this video, there's a reason why. And I'd like to share you with this uh, new stuff that I tried with my uh, minivan camper. All right, let's check it out. So, if you've been following along my channel, you would know uh, what configures this right now for my uh, minivan camper. Over there is my bed in the stow mode, the bed uh, frame. And these are normal uh, passenger mode with two seats in. So when I go camping, I will take these two out. And if you've been following my channel for a while, a long time, I love, I always love to have a lounging chair in here, you know, because I designed my bed frame to be right in the middle. So I can actually squeeze in another seat behind that to be my lounge chair. But because, you know, minivan is small space and, you know, I will post a link up here somewhere where my, my current build is. So it's, it's pretty tight. So for a long time, I want to, you know, the front passenger seat. I taunt with the idea of flipping it around, somehow make it swivel. But, you know, I was afraid I had to make some kind of modification to it, some kind of bracket, get the way it was uh, mounted. So let's take a look. So as you can see, the rear mount is all flat, right? And there is a heater right under the seat. Let's take a look in the front mount and see why it's a difficult uh, swap. And this other front mount, it's kind of angle uh, like that instead of flat. So it's not a simple, just unbolt it and then uh, turn it around, you know? So, I forgot who it is on my channel. Uh, Suggest why not just unball it from the rail, which uh, this is what I did. But let's first go through the tool that I use in order to do this. So these are the tools I use to uh, do the job. Uh, three eight ratchet, a uh, little bit short extension, I think three inches. That's the cross point or some soft, sophisticated people call it Phillips screwdriver, 14 millimeter socket and 12 millimeter socket. So as you can see, the seat has already been swapped around, you know. So this will be the way it will be while I'm driving. I took the head wrap so it doesn't look kind of weird from the outside. And since, you know, I was not going to unbolt and show you the step by step. It's a lot of work, but I have to show you the basic how, how to take it off. All right. So this plastic cover is, uh, you know, just cover the bowl up. So you just pop them out. It's not that big a deal. Just pop them out. I mean, right now it's already popped out, so that's why it seems easy. But just pull it. Don't be afraid. If you look at it, it's a little too uh, edge right here. Clip into that. After that, you unbolt that. This one. And yeah, this is 14. Socket. So what you do is you're going to tilt the seat. Um, actually, you have to move the seat. But in order for right now, I have to tilt this a little bit up. Because, you know, you, you just move the seat out of the way to get access to the bolt. Just unbolt it. That's all you do. Nothing big deal. Mm. So once you loosen these two, 
pull, pull it all the way forward and do the same for the front two. The front two have no cover, so you just unbolt it. <clears throat> Before you tilt the for the seat back like this, make sure you disconnect this uh, connection right here. That and that before you uh, you take the seat out. Once the seat out, you will see see that bolt right there, the nut right there. Then there's another one there. There's one there. There's actually two here. That's why it's kind of odd. So this is how I kind of mod it a little bit. Cause that's where I, the seat and belt, uh, the seat belt hook up to. So it need more stronger connection. But if you disconnect those, that's number 12. Yeah, these are number 12 nuts, so. You just unbolt them, unbolt that, unbolt that, flip them around, you know, same thing over here, unbolt that, unbolt that, flip them around, but because it used to be you hooking up two of them, but back here there's no two, so you just kind of move it back a little bit, and then you reinstall it. I'm not too worried about this because this is just signal when there's somebody sit on it, then the the airbag will be will be deployed. If nobody sit on it, it won't deploy. If there's an accident that way, you know, you don't want to waste a perfectly good airbag. I leave them connected, <coughs> disconnect. I leave them disconnected, so I don't care about. Oh, I forgot. In here, you will see a bunch. These two. That will cover up, you know, just for for looking good, pretty. I forgot how they install, but you don't need them. Toss them away. You don't need them, cause that's just gonna interfere the way you flip the seat around. All right, and when you swap the rail the other way, rebolt it, put it back. So I just reinstall these bolt back in. It take a little bit of work to line them up at the beginning. Once they line up, it will everything will go. So when this rail, it's gonna be a bit lopsided on this side. All you have to do is lift this up, and then move the rail. Then you'll be able to uh, line it up right. And then just put the plastic cover and make it look nice. Yeah, just pop them in, and they will stay in. So it hide away those uh, ugly. Uh, bolt you don't need those uh, plastic one that I show you so they pretty much inside here to keep stuff from jamming in the rail but I'm the only one here so I'm not too worried if you want to keep them keep them remember the screwdriver is to remove the screw from these hole all these anything that you see is screw unscrew them from the inside you only need to take the one, the two inside. You don't need to remove the one on the on the outside at all. So I'm doing another uh, road trip in June, probably mid June. No, earlier than mid June a little bit. But uh, I will do a couple more upgrade into this minivan. And if you like to follow along and see what I do to this van. Go ahead and subscribe and click on that notification for all. And then you will see uh, what kind of uh, shenanigans I'm up to just to get more room in this minivan. All right. Thanks for watching. I will catch you in the next video. Bye now.